Jonathan Martin has left the team, Richie Incognito suspended indefinitely, and the Dolphins just got real fun to watch. Let's talk about hazing, which is a bad word to college fraternities and the US military, but not the NFL. Now, in a perfect world, hazing's a ritual that makes the hazy feel like a closer part of the team. Should be an initiation that fosters camaraderie. The problem with hazing is that the people who go through with it just make it harder for the next people to go through with it. And that makes hazing just harassment without any sort of purpose. So, when the team's veterans make the least financially stable players pay for a $30,000 dinner, is that hazing or harassment? That's for the NFL to decide, but it certainly didn't make Jonathan Martin feel like a part of the team. Ranking the NFL's old-fashioned tough guy meathead assholes. Number one, Greg Schiano. Real my way or the highway guy who gets results. And by results, I mean losses. 0-8, nice work. Number two, Richie Incognito. I don't want to jump to conclusion with this whole Dolphins thing going on, but it's hard to take the side of the guy who's been an a-hole his entire career. Number three, Pete Prisco, jorts wearing concussion denier. Keep a wide berth and whatever you do, don't engage him on Twitter. Number four, Mike Ditka. Every time he talks on ESPN, all I think is, you traded an entire draft class for a running back. You idiot. Don't listen to what he has to say. Number five, Merrill Hodge, the sort of guy who turns down penicillin because it's witchcraft. Meatheads of the world go away. It's the 21st century, and we treat adults like adults. Hey, Richie Incognito, let us know about happiness. So as long as my teammates are happy and my coaches are happy, then I'm happy.